All right, so here's part two. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm just making the video one right after another. But go with it. Yes, and I'm not in my, my suit and tie today, so bear with me. I'm on, a, I'm on Tuesday morning here at the office finishing up x-rays and paperwork and seeing a couple emergency patients. But the reality is this, is part two of the videos, we over here understood how the body can lose the ability to heal. It can lose its function and get sick. Over here is what we talk about with patients as far as how the body then rebuilds. So why don't you understand that when the body comes out of alignment, when the head and neck come out of alignment, when the atlas or axis come out of alignment, at that point in time, one of the things you gotta understand is, is that inside the atlas is the brainstem. The brainstem sits inside that bone. And it attaches to the atlas with these little arms, if you will, we call them uh, ligaments, the dentate ligaments. And so when the atlas moves out of place and gets stuck, it begins to take that brainstem and begins to squeeze it and put pressure on it and rub. It begins to rub away. Very much so like when you go work out and you rub the bar and you get calluses on your hands. Or if I was to rub my arm right here, if I rub my arm for a few minutes, um, other than it being annoying, there's not really any damage that takes place. But if I rub that arm for, say, 10, 10 days, um, it's going to break apart. It's going to begin bleeding. It's going to begin scabbing. It's going to get nasty. And so if I it was to keep rubbing and I keep rubbing that arm for 10 years, we well, have got to understand that, that arm is pretty daggum damaged, probably more so a lot of it's irreversible damage. So a lot of times when a patient comes in our office and we're taking x-rays and we're doing scans and we're doing examinations, we're trying to figure out if you have a misalignment, number one, but number two, how much rubbing on the brainstem have you had? How much damage have you had to the spinal cord? And that's ultimately going to determine, number one, how much care you need to correct the problem, but then to maintain that problem from that point forward. So if you look at my drawing here, one of the things I teach patients is, is that when you come to us, you know, there's many times that we can adjust a patient and they feel good right away. And there's sometimes, most of the time, we adjust people. And it takes time for the body to begin to a point where it feels better. And what that means is, is this, is that in a normal person, if this was your brainstem, 76 trillion nerves running through that brainstem, if they're all doing that at 100%, our bodies are going to heal and adapt and maintain. But if we do an x-ray and do a scan and we find that a bone's out of alignment and it's putting pressure into the brainstem and it's rubbing and wearing away, it's going to create a callus right here. So for our example here, if it's hitting the nerve that's going to the, to, to the low back, if it's, if it's targeting the nerves going to the low back and it's rubbing and, and, and damaging in there, and say we've got, you know, you, you've got to have at least 60% damage in the nerve before you feel a symptom, right? So say you, we measure you and we find your x-rays and your scans and you've got 30% damage to that or 70% damage to that nerve. And, and then we begin to remove the bone. So say we take the bone off that, that, that spinal cord there and that nerve, it's still damaged, right? So even though you came to us and we made an adjustment to you, a very specific scientific adjustment, we removed the damage off the nerve, the calluses are still there on that nerve going to the low back. So what are you going to have? You're still going to have pain or dysfunction. So what our jobs are, again, is to, to keep not only to find and detect a misalignment, but to remove the bone off the nerve long enough, keep it off the bone, off the nerve long enough for the calluses to heal. So if I was rubbing your arm again and I did that for 10 days, the only way that arm is going to heal is for me to remove my hand long enough for the tissues to repair. So when you come into our office, there's going to be points in time where we scan and check you and you don't need to be adjusted, but you might still feel like poo. Why? Because you still have damage in the cord that we're maintaining and monitoring and watching. We're trying to keep the bone off the nerve. However, as soon as the bone comes back onto the nerve, as soon as you come back out of alignment, the quicker we get to it and remove it, the, then your body goes back to healing because as soon as it comes off, you start, you start going sick again. So we've got to keep the bone off the nerve, and we know clinically, we know scientifically that it takes about 36 months for the spinal cord to completely remap a damaged area. So even though we're doing corrective care anywhere from a couple months to maybe even a year, it's going to take your spinal cord years to repair. It doesn't mean you need to be coming in so often and uh, we need to maintain that. We'll put you into maintenance care, but you got to have you know, your spinal cord something you've got to pay attention to and, and keep an eye on for, for, for as long as you want to be healthy because it's the number one source there. But I want you guys really the point of the video is to make sure you understand that healing comes from damage that's been worn away. I'm sorry, sickness and secondary dis conditions come from uh, uh, wearing away at the cord. Same thing, that's how healing takes place. We remove the interference, we remove the structure back to its normal, and then over time the body can repair the damage. Uh, just as like if I was to rub, create damage, I want it to heal, I remove the rub. That's how it is. It's that simple. So make sure you stick to your appointments. Make sure you're telling your friends about this story. Share this video. Get involved on our Facebook page. Stay on schedule. Uh, and most importantly, give your doctors a good hug. We love hugs. Anyway, we love you. We appreciate you, family. And we'll see you on your next visit.